I'm looking for any, um, why can I, guardian, any guardian hero is going to suffer, smarty heroes are generally going to suffer if they're playing beans and stuff like that, because I can just chum champ them into oblivion, so smarty and guardian, so if you run into a three nut deck with uh, chum champion, oh man, that's just like the dream matchup, especially if they don't make their play into like turn five and then they play a three nut and then like garlic and you know a normal walnut or something like that because then all of that temple could be obliterated by teleporting in your chum champ on top of one of these brain benders hopefully he doesn't play another forget me nuts but if he does i'll be able to hopefully take care of it before i want to do any teleporting or leaping now i should probably get rid of a you know one or two of these black holes maybe even one or two of these rolling stones i don't remember how many rolling stones i put in this deck i have tweaked this a lot and you know it's not a serious competitive deck you know, i want it to be as good as possible though because rng is fun like you want to play rng and leaps and that kind of stuff but it's not fun if you're losing like every other game or you know two games three games in a row that's not fun so like i think you need to be winning at least i don't know at least two out of three games and i mean bare minimum you want to win one out of two games or else you're going to get so just frustrated with feeling like your decks aren't worth playing because if you're getting the floor wiped out from from below you then you know it's just not fun nobody wants to do that all right this guy is going to die oh no i don't have a rolling stone shoot Darn it, I thought I had another one in hand. Did I whisk that away? Should I do this? I mean, why not? Take a crazy chance. Why not do a crazy dance? All right, I'm gonna put this here. Since I have two of them. Um, should I put another one out in case he kills that with something? I don't know if that's worth it right now. If he puts it out of, like, a B-Rex, then I'm just screwed, though. Whatever. I'm going for fun right now. Not feasibility on winning. Alright. Uh, I can still leap. Which is good. And actually, next turn is going to be... No! He has super... Okay. Well, one thing that is fantastic... Look at this. You ready? This is the highlight of the entire video. Hope you're ready for it, man. You know what's coming. Um, he's only going to be have three attack, which is fine. So this guy thinks he's ahead right now, right? Here it comes, baby. You ready for this? Aw, uh, freaking get chumped. <laughs> Oh man, that was awesome. I'm sorry, uh, Chuchacabra. Um, I'm sorry. I mean, if you find this video, that's good. Welcome to the channel, but you're probably not going to unless the algorithm goes brrrr. All right, so there's that guy. He might be setting up for a Gatling P, so I probably wanna kind of prevent that. Oh, he's only gonna do one damage to me. Come on, roll a two or a three, please. I need some blockage. Oh, of course I only got a one. All right, well, I'm getting a free six drop right now, which is nifty. Oh yeah, that's definitely good. Uh, what do I want, this? Yeah, I guess this over here because I don't want this proccing the block before my big boy can hit him in the face. He might forfeit. Okay, there it is, just like I thought. Now Gatling P is going to do no damage this guy's i think i won unless he can throw out something else good but i don't think he can um freaking torchwood would be really good right here all right look at that completely worthless gatling p i think i'll just leave him there i mean i might as well do this i should leave this right i mean why not right what, what's the worst that can happen Ooh, we get another free card. Waterline, come on. Yes, yes, yes. I cannot believe this guy hasn't forfeited yet. What is happening? Oh my goodness. 
He rolled a three, so he could theoretically... I, I get another card, right? Yes. Another minion. It's freaking Stomp it on. So he could actually still kind of win if he plays another Gatling P. So I'm going to play this. And then if he kills something else or has a Doom Shroom out of nowhere, I mean, at least I can play this guy and leap something. But I think I won, so I think it's pretty much guaranteed. I don't know how he could possibly come back right now unless... Yeah, I don't know. He's screwed. He needs a, a double uh, sham wow to get me. Well, I'm going to let him win because I'm a nice guy. And uh, that was a fun match. Thanks for watching, guys. Rustbolt has potential for crazy things, but he's just so inconsistent. It's 